Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm still in my first uh, flight ever. Uh, it's taking quite a long time. I'm only going from like, uh, you can just see it over there in the distance. It's uh, like the Netherlands and we are now midway a little bit over midway towards the UK towards London Heathrow and yeah just like I mentioned in the earlier episodes aviation it's really like a black box or, or like a Pandora's box like a, a rabbit hole once you start to read Wikipedia articles you, you yeah it, it's you, you get from from one topic into another like for instance airspeeds there are like five different airspeeds um, I've been reading up a lot um, so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm becoming better prepared but still there's uh, yeah, a lot of reading and I, w I almost would say studying to do uh, I do know now pretty much um, how all the instruments in the cockpit work and what they do and also actually what makes them tick there's like this um, flight school in the US which has an amazing uh, uh, YouTube channel with super informative videos I think it's Ori Riddle or something I will look it up and I will mention it in a later episode, but it really uh, gives you the insights on aviation. Um, I wanted to also get the ADF to work, the automatic direction finder. We're currently flying under visual flight rules as opposed to instrument flight rules. Uh, and you can log in with the unit over there, it's the ADF unit, you can log into beacons, uh, ODBs, omnidirectional beacons, like this one for instance, or that one, or VOR stations, VHF omnidirectional range, they're all radio stations, um, helping to get a, a bearing good heading I assume that we are that plane right on the map no we are not god damn it such an idiot going totally off course <laughs> I thought I was the plane on the map but anyways we are trim the plane a bit to get it to level um, and I also still have some stick drift on my controller I think it's quite annoying to be honest oh wrong way I'm now looking at the attitude meter right in front with the blue horizon and the brown ground off. Anyways, we are over here. So I am. I assume this is me. Yes, we're now turning. So that's good. By the way, I noticed two bugs in this game. If you, if I load the save from the main menu, it actually um, crashes. And also, if I want to move this map or expand it, the game crashes as well. It's pretty annoying. For the rest, it's pretty stable. But those two functions do not work. Um, anyways, we have those radio beacons over here. But they don't provide frequencies. So I had to find uh, yeah, a real-life map on my mobile phone. And I'm now going to try and... I 
really must not touch that button because then everything crashes. But I'm going to try and log into EGLL. That is actually London Heathrow. But let's see if I can already log in there. We have to log in. Uh, we have to contact them uh, via the radio as well. But. Do that later let's first see if i can look into that frequency that would be pretty cool one second no idea how this app works
Alright, 113 dot 6. And now we. 118 decimal 475 Wisco 4452. We will be putting it to active. Swap, standby, and active. And then over here we now see. I think this is our heading. And it's a little bit to the left. So I assume if we move a bit. I hope it's doing something, but not really, right? No. It's not doing anything, it seems. Let's click nav one. That actually displays the, the Morse code, I think, to see if you have uh, got the correct frequency. I hear like very faint, I hear the Morse codes. I really, next time I really have to lower the engine. Well, ah, I can actually do that now. Ah, whatever, I will leave it. Yeah, the volume is pretty loud, it's the prop. I will uh, put the windows uh, volume a little bit uh, lower next time, in the next episodes. Anyways, for now, let's stop that. And now. I still hear Morse code in the background, it's pretty annoying. Why is this thing not working? Or maybe it is working. And I just need to... Get that heading. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe I just have to... Go... 250 degrees that's what we are now doing approximately all right I already see London I think in the distance it is over there I think Thing. Oh, 
these are just the communication, the microphones. school and there are multiple ways to to lean the mixture but this is one of them that I read about it should just uh, you can only lean the plane when you're like at 75% power and the thing is that that is actually not throttle power but I think engine power based on environmental circumstances so there's also some, I think, a chart for that, but basically I think it says once you are over 3,000 feet, you can uh, uh, lean, uh, lean the mixture. And how I do it is um, indeed uh, pushing it out till the engine starts uh, running rough and then reversing it back in till it uh, goes to the, the top RPM. And the distance between rough and top RPM, that same distance approximately push it in further. And then you should have uh, yeah, not too lean and not too rich. So a little bit of an in-between. And we can also see that uh, this actually doesn't look too good. Because um, to me, the oil 
of them seems way too high. So I am going to rich it a bit more. And rich it. First let's get back of course. But this one uh, is going to go further in. Because gasoline not only does it ignite the spark plug, it also has a cooling effect on the cylinders. And hence I would say the oil as well. So the oil meter, yeah it's already maybe I would say dropping down a bit. Still a bit high temperature. Uh, but anyways, the idea is to get to London. Let's get uh, on the radio with ATC. Oh, I'm not on, now on what is some. No, I don't want to do what is some. I want London. London Center 118475 Whoa, we uh, we made it! Woohoo! Hello UK! Alright, 117 Ah, goddammit, what did it say? Oh 475 London Center, ah, 118, such an idiot. hear anything. So, ah, uh, whatever, I will do it. What Isham approach round 8888, 2600 feet. Round 8888, what Isham approach, continue as planned. Altimeter 29er, decimal 9 or 2.
2,600 feet, altimeter 2,992. So we have to adjust the altimeter. Oh, let's do that now. pressure which apparently is different here than when we took off in London in uh, Amsterdam all right but I'm still why am I talking well it's pretty cool by the way London I wonder why I'm talking to ATC that is not from Heathrow, air traffic controller. God damn it, again the wrong one. I'm gonna switch those buttons by the way, screw it. This is way too often am I, I'm hardly using that map and ATC I'm using much more. So let's swap them around. Uh, check lists, what else did I have over here? Um, wait, we do search by inputs, navlog is down, yeah, I actually would like to do navlog actually up. I hardly use it and then we do ATC down so let's do ATC down and then we do um, wait what did I now no ATC will be left A will be left and map will be down and we do map and let's make that down and we are good to go I hope uh, let's double check this one is Navlog. This one is ATC. Down should be the map, yes. And right should be checklist. Yes, so we have all the D-pads assigned, and sorry for that, here we go. Um, anyways... One Isham approach, ROM 8888, cancel flight following. ROM 8888, one Isham approach, cancellation received. Squawk 7000. Frequency change approved. Right. We want to go to Heathrow. And then it's... That's my destination.
right. I really don't understand. I think I had a flight plan with Heathrow. Uh, but first, let's input that transponder code just for fun. 7000 squawk. Before we do that, let's just quickly check out London. Pretty nice. Of course, it all looks more or less the same compared to, for instance, Amsterdam. I'm sure if you go over it lower, and especially Trafalgar Square and stuff, and the Thames and the London Bridge, then it would be pretty cool. But anyways, that's not what we are here for now. I just would like to get into the freaking contact. I must say it's so sharp everything holy shit I'm having some stuttering here hopefully that's just the game loading in essence how are we doing on fuel 30% uh, left alright let's get Isham approach ROM 8888 is typed Cessna 152 5 miles east of Echo Golf Sierra Tango. Request flight following. ROM 8888, Isham approach. Squawk 2645. Um. Squawk 2645, ROM 8888. Radar contact 4 miles east of Echo Golf, Sierra Tango, 1,100 feet. Altimeter 2 niner, decimal niner 2. Copy ROM 8888. Alright, cancel. Wadisham approach ROM 8888, cancel flight following. ROM 8888, Wadisham approach cancellation received. Squawk 7000. Frequency change approved. That was way too low. And let's check the oil. The engine still way too hot. I'm putting more mixture in. Screw it. Fully rich. I, it, 
Of course, the landscape is pretty similar to the Netherlands, but the whole way the villages are laid out and stuff, there is certainly a difference. But anyways, um, yeah, now what? Why can't I go to my freaking destination? Is that because I didn't contact Heathrow soon enough. Here, contact London Center on 118475. Let's try that again. 118. Man, this control is so annoying. I have to. Let's see if the engine is a bit cooler. No, it's still... I don't understand why it runs this hot. I'm not like in the super extreme RPM. I have a fully rich mixture. It's a bit awkward. Um, anyways, let's go and go to another airport. I'd like to land it within this episode, if that is possible. Um, so, let's go to this one.
Echo Golf Zulu Alpha Traffic ROM 88884 miles southwest, 1,300 feet inbound to land runway 8. I would say. Probably I didn't get any answer because it's in the middle of the night. Where am I? That's my question. Am I that plane over there? Yes, I am. Right, let's just try to... Look at that. Uh, and I'm also going to, sorry, but reverse the map and I don't even know what the other one was. <coughs> what did I, nope. What did I put here? Navlog. That is going to be. down and the map is going to be up all right good to go all right i actually don't want to crash on my very first flight i mean it's not that hard flying it seems I have a never 
navigation on currently. I'm not sure what that's all about. What am I tuned into? Right, 110.5. I have no idea. Don't think I put anything in there. Standby. And also enjoy the scenery a bit. That is London over there, with the lights in the distance.
way, I cannot imagine anything is watching this, anyone is watching this, this is like the um, boring, uh, most boring content ever probably, but earlier I mentioned that I did uh, quite a lot of, um, yeah, I would almost call it studying, aviation, like lots of things, altitudes, speeds, the cockpit panel, uh, the, the characteristics, uh, aircraft components, systems, engines, a lot of stuff. And I can, if anybody wants to do the same thing, I really can um, recommend the YouTube channel of the Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. That's Embry-Riddle. They have amazing content to really uh, get you up to speed with uh, flying. Amazing. I cannot land it somewhere else anyways. So let's do ATC. Let's do this one. Micro lights, probably not. But I think that's maybe for um, like those um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what they're called in English. I'm gonna check it now. I think gliders is the word. I think that might be a glider uh, airport or runway. Yes, it's a glider. So I'm not going to Ennisfield. I could maybe try and just get to London. I mean, we still have 30% fuel in both tanks. So maybe I will just strut along and then hopefully I can land it in the next episode. Let's do that. Let's enjoy Long uh, England for a bit. Been there once or twice when I was really young. It's a very nice country. still way too high I think I'm not really sure what that's about what that is all about
really see a lot of those runway lights. Earlier in the Netherlands I saw like three in close vicinity to each other. Not so here. skipping ahead and only uh, going to the landmarks but actually going cross-country in real time and then it's actually yeah maybe a bit boring or uh, uh, very boring to watch but I, I must say for me doing it it may, it may seem boring but it's not it's, it's pretty relaxing just you really have the idea that you're like in a plane just uh, cruising along so Speaking for myself, I actually do enjoy it, but I can also really imagine that watching this on YouTube is boring as hell. But yeah, um, for the one or two that uh, do enjoy it, I hope to see you in the next episode. And for the meantime, to all of you guys, do not forget, always do keep on gaming. See you later.